My daughter, I want you to write these words down. O oh, foolish people in America, you did not heed the warnings given, and you will soon be without. You will not be able to go to your local store and buy. You will not be able to get your favorite takeout meals. Your ATM card will be useless. This is a time coming like no other. America is a nation of people that spend, spend, spend. They must have the newest gadgets, the newest car, the bigger house they can truly afford, the best of everything. Did I not say I would strip you of your most treasured idol, your mammon? Why did you spend on frivolous things instead of preparing your household for what was coming? Foolish Christian children, do you think I will just drop everything on your lap when you did not prepare physically or spiritually? You will be without. You are to do your part, but you are lazy and complacent Expecting everything will be handed to you. The lazy will go hungry. My true remnant has prepared for this day's coming. They believe my words. They know I cannot lie, nor would I mislead them. I warned of judgments, of a kick of event, of an economic collapse and so much more. Why did you not listen? You did not listen because you live in unbelief. And now you will suffer greatly, for this will be the days of great distress and much hardship. Physically, your storehouses are empty. Spiritually, you are empty and void of any understanding. You do not know the great I am. My children, there is a famine coming. So many are not strong enough to endure the hardship, for you are not grounded in me. Those who are unrepentant will lose their souls as they accept the mark of the beast to eat and drink. My remnant, you must buckle up for what is coming and brace yourselves. You must put complete faith in me and not doubt even though there will be lean times. But I will provide for those who have complete trust and faith in me. I have made water come out of a rock. I have parted the Red Sea. I have raised the dead. There is nothing too difficult for me. I can pour manna from heaven and keep your body healthier than anything you eat on earth. I can keep you free of sickness and disease when others are dying. I will not provide for those who will remain unrepentant and for those who have not prepared properly that call themselves by my name unless they repent to me. But you will suffer greatly for your disobedience. Those who truly repent, some I will send where there is food and shelters. Others who repent will be on their deathbeds, and I will take you home. Did I not say millions will die as judgments fall in greater intensity? What you have seen so far is nothing compared to what is coming. This is not years away, as some declare. This season is upon you, when everything will escalate at an alarming rate. How will you keep your head above water? How will you survive without the comforts you enjoy now? How many of you even know how to cook? without electricity when that day comes? 
How many of you even stored food to cook? Most are unprepared. My children, you have done this to yourselves. Oh, how it grieves my heart for what I must do. When I had sent all my love to you, so you would return to me. I do not enjoy knowing that so many, and many of my elect also, will take the chief in order to serve themselves, but they will lose their souls to an eternity of torment and fire. Oh, how that grieves me so. Had you listened, repented, come out of complacency, stored your treasures in heaven, prepared for the battle ahead, and put away provision to feed yourselves and others, I would have blessed you. Instead, you live in the night that you will be raptured out of here and will not have to endure until the end. You have very little time now to prepare now. Prepare your spiritual house by water for it to be more precious than gold. Lean times ahead, children. Many hearts will fail at what they will see. Much mourning coming to the land of nothing, once known as the land of plenty. I am is the one who gives and takes away. I bless or I cast nations. Your judgment was pronounced and is written on the heavenly tables. Not only are you about to fall, but you will be invaded, plundered, and then totally destroyed. Persecution upon all who will refuse the new world order, the beast system, I cannot even begin to describe everything that will come about, for your hearts would not be able to take it. Pray for mercy upon your soul. Pray for mercy during judgment. Pray I lead you to safety. Pray and repent to me. My faithful remnant will be sent out to help those who call out for them. They can lead you to me. My children who have been ignored, mocked, slandered, rejected, but walk with me. You will be the ones people will seek to find. The light will shine brightly in you. Arise and shine, for your time has come. My hidden jewels, my true warriors, are you ready to do the Father's will? I am the knight of the world. I am your only hope. I am is the only one who can save you. I must just in you, children, so that more will not perish. Count your blessings in hardship. Praise me in the good times. Praise me in the bad times. I chastain all those I love. For those who will come home, and into my kingdom one day, you will see and understand what you do not understand now. Cling to me during these times. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Focus on me at all times. I know the path you are to be on. Stay close. Memorize portions of my word. Make copies of prayers and psalms. This will comfort you when all else is gone. I love you so much, but I must do what needs to be done. Otherwise, none would choose to repent and return to me. Sadly, this is the only way. I presented options, sent love, tried to woo you back, but you refused. Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, why do you insist on being so stiff-necked? Pray like never before because of what is coming. Pray, pray, pray. 
finish up. Disobedience always leads to judgment. Pride always leads to destruction. Killing my babies always leads to my wrath being poured out on a nation. The clock struck twelve and down she fell. Tick tock. I am who was and is and is to come. Yahushua HaMashiach. I and the Father are one.